When the Department of Trade and Industry proposed updates to old copyright regulations in South Africa, it presented a unique opportunity to make changes that would enhance the country's international competitiveness for years to come. Sadly, it wasn't the case. Experts are calling the Copyright Amendment Bill shambolic and also embarrassing. Instead, the DTI's changes favoured the needs of international internet giants and would have a devastating effect on local content. Notwithstanding fierce opposition, the DTI was determined to push this legislation through the parliamentary process. Legal challenges to the process were not enough. Yes, performers, composers, etc. Don't have the money, including labels, don't have the money to take up big tech companies, which are, in my view, the beneficiaries of these exceptions. The creative industry came together to mount a national media and stakeholder communications campaign, geared at appealing to the president to refuse to sign this flawed legislation into law. The Coalition for Effective Copyright was formed. With less than 10 weeks to make an impact, our approach was clear get the attention of the DTI, parliamentary leaders and the president using a broad base of opinions from senior leaders across the broader creative industries. We wrote to other cabinet ministers and ran a full page open letter to the Minister of Trade and Industry in South Africa's biggest Sunday newspaper. We created a song featuring some of the country's top artists. We drew social media support from celebrities, academics and the public. Within 10 weeks, we generated more than 718 million media impressions and 40 million rand in earned media. We made so much noise that the DTI and giant tech companies reopened dialogue. An emergency meeting was called with the coalition to iron out the issues. What will the outcome be? That remains to be seen. But on the Copyright Amendment Bill, South Africa heard us, Parliament heard us, and the President of our country has heard our voice.